Hello, beautiful family. Like always, thank you for clicking my video. And in today's video, I am doing a wig show and tell, and this is from the wig brand Outre. If you're interested in this wig, I'll be sure to leave a online website you can purchase from with other website links that you just might be interested in. The wig came neatly packaged. And the wig that I have today is Outre 5x5 HD Lace Closure Wig in the style name HHB Glam Curls 24. I have it in a color number two. This wig is available in 11 colors. Here is a close up of the inside cat construction. This wig comes with a 5x5 lace closure parting space. They inserted a pre attached elastic band for a flat fit. There are two combs in the front with another comb in the nape area and adjustable straps. This wig was made on a breathable cap material and this is how the wig comes straight out of the package. Here's a close up on how the hairline on the closure looks. It comes pre plucked. You also get baby hairs, and the wefts on the cap is neatly constructed, nice and flat. With this wig style, I would like to do a middle part. Next up, I am using my Andis hot comb. The temperature setting I have it on is number 10. I'm just pressing down by the parting space so I can make it nice and flat. I'm also going to smooth out the hairline as well. And I'm careful to not bring the hot comb all the way through because I don't want it to mess up the curl pattern. By the forehead, I'm going to pluck out some of the baby hairs that come on the hairline. I don't need all those baby hairs. I'm just going to use two swoops by my temple and also pluck just a little bit of the hairline towards the middle part just to get rid of like any harsh line of demarcation between the lace and the baby hairs. And this is how it looks in the end. I really didn't do much. You don't even have to pluck the hairline. I just plucked a little bit because you guys know, well, some of y'all know. I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. <laughs> Next up, I'm going to use my pink shears and this is going to be a easy cut. I pull back the baby hairs and I just take my shears and cut right along the hairline. Hey y'all, so it is time for the wig install and this wig right here is another new release wig from Outre. If you're interested in this wig, I'll be sure to leave the video link below in my description box. The curls on the Glam Curls 24 wig is looking super gorgeous. So underneath the lace, I don't have anything right now. To get the lace to help blend in with my skin, I'm going to use this Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 360. I applied some of this powder underneath the lace, but I only applied it to the spots that I'll be showing. So that is the parting space and hairline. I also adjust the adjustable straps in the back close but not too close i'm just going to go ahead and swap wigs underneath the wig i'm going to wear a brown stocking cap when i put the wig on i make sure that elastic band that outre inserted on the inside is nice and comfortable in my nape area then i pull the wig back and adjust it to where i would like it on my hairline I would like to melt my lace down with some products. So first I pull out the baby hairs and make sure they are not laying back. They are laying forward. And I'm going to use this olive oil super hold spray. And I'm using one layer of this on top of the lace. I spray it and then I go in with my blow dryer on the warm setting. And I blow dry it until it's completely dry.
when I was blow drying, I made sure to use the end of the rat tail comb to press down the tip of the lace, making sure that it's drying flat onto the spray. And I press lightly. I don't want to press too hard because if it starts to stick to the rat tail comb, it will lift up with the rat tail comb. And after that, I just keep blow drying until it's completely dry. And yeah. This is how it's looking. I was like, not nah, bad, not bad. I could work with this. And that was such a easy spray compared to when it's a frontal and you have to spray the whole hairline. Next, I'm going to use the Eco Styling Gel and this Yellow Got To Be Glue Gel. And at first, with the Eco Styling Gel, I was trying to do like a little swoop style that I sometimes do with baby hairs but I wasn't really feeling it. So after that, I stopped using the Eco Styling Gel and just completely used the Yellow Got To Be Glue Gel. After that, I apply some of that Maybelline Fit Me Powder to the lace of the hairline so I can hide the knots and grids on the lace. And I also apply some to the parting space. This just helped the parting space look a little bit more like scalp. And I also help hide my wig cap underneath. The curls straight out of the package is really pretty. I can see why they call it Glam Curls 24, but I would like a more fuller look. So I take my comb and my fingers and my brush and I just take my time and define and detangle the curls until I get my desired end result. This is the amount of shedding hair I got all together. And to me, that's not bad. It's on the low side. And right here is my end results. I really hope you guys like it. Okay, beautiful. So Utre stated that this wig is a premium synthetic plus human hair blend. The hair texture is yakky, but it's a light yakky. It still have a silky feeling to it. As for a luster, this wig do come with a shine, but in my opinion, it's not too shiny. I feel like the shine is nice, but if it comes off too shiny to you, you could always go in and use dry shampoo. The length of the wig is 24 inches stretched out, but not stretched out. I would say it is 22 inches on me and my height is 5'6". This wig comes with a 5x5 five five hand tied HD transparent lace parting and was really dope you could part this wig in the right middle or left the styling choice that they use for this wig is loose curl I know you guys are wondering Kara is this wig big head friendly I had stretch cap room material left in there so if you have a 23 inch head circumference I do feel like you are in for the clear if you have a smaller head 
I recommend taking that elastic band that they inserted on the inside and knotting the end of it and also using like some bobby pins probably to secure the back if it's too flappy in the back. The hair density on the wig I would say is a thick density. It's not super thick and it's definitely not on the low side so I would say it's medium but once you comb or brush out the curls it definitely makes the curls more voluminous. The wig is very lightweight on my head. I also like how at the top by the parting space is no humpy hill action going on but I know it depends on the foundation of your braids as well. This is what the front of the hair looked like for anybody that's curious for when the wind blow. Next, I tried this wig with a flip over on the right side and man, oh man, that flip over is cute. This is one wig I wouldn't wear every day. This is kind of wig you take out for a special event. But hey, if you want it for every day, then go ahead and rock it until the wheels fall off. So that's pretty much it for my wig show and tell. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. Like always, thank you for watching.